I almost won $1,000 playing Padavan Streets, but what if we improve the system by making it easier to win? Let's check out Padavan Corners together today on Jackie's. <laughs> What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com and today we're gonna to take the highly successful Padavan Street system and improve it. Padavan Corners is kind of like Padavan Streets because they both use the Padavan mathematical sequence. The Padavan sequence is one, 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 two, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, 12, 16, 21, and so on. Each new number is the sum of the second and third numbers preceding it. So one plus one is two, one plus one is two again, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on. But with Padavan Corners, we'll be betting on two corners instead of a double street. When we bet two corners, now we have more coverage of the wheel. And we still come out ahead when we recover from a losing streak. The buy-in for Padavan Corners is just $1,500, and we're going to walk when we're up $350 or more. The starting bet is just $10 with a max bet of $370. If we lose the $370 bet, it means we've lost 15 bets in a row. So let's get into it. We're starting with a $7.8 million balance and we're playing on a double zero wheel. When you bet on two corners, eight numbers, you win 3.5 times your bet. So when you bet $10 on tiers one, two, and three, you win $35. So double zero, whack minus 10. We go to tier two, which is still $10. When you bet $20 on tiers four and five, you win $70 when you hit. 16, another whack minus 10. Stay at $10, which is gonna be tier three. When do you walk? We're gonna walk when we're up 375 or more. That's 25% of the $1,500 buy-in. Two, that's a hit. We went 35. We we're up $15 and reset to step one. With a starting balance of 1,500, that means we can withstand up to 14 losses in a row. If we have 15 losses in a row, we'll be wiped out. Eight, back-to-back -back hits, not bad. We win another 35, we're up 50, no and we reset again to tier one. 24, that's a whack, minus 10. Go to tier two, which is still $10. Like I said before, this is a negative progression system. That means you increase your bets when you lose, and you reset to step one when you win. With negative progression systems, you have a good chance of coming out ahead a small amount, but there's always that chance that you're gonna lose big. 17, whack, minus 10. Go to tier three, still $10. Oh, $34, that's a whack, minus 10. And we're gonna go to tier four, which is 20 this time. For the first tier, you have an expected loss of 27 cents per spin on a single zero wheel and 53 cents per spin on a double zero wheel. 28, we lose 20 and go to tier five, which is still $20. No more bets. 21, that's a whack again, minus 20. Now we go to tier six, which is $30. If you enjoy discussing gambling systems, join my Discord. We have a pretty active community of around 700 no DGENs like you. We love talking about gambling, so join today. 16, whack, go to 40. Betting on eight numbers, you cover 21.6% of the wheel on single zero and 21.1% of the wheel on double zero. 31, that's a whack, minus 40. And we're gonna increase to 50. No more bets. 17, that's a whack, minus 50. And we're gonna increase our bet to 70. Pros, this is a slow progressing negative progression okay. system. You don't double up every time you lose like with Martingale. That means you can survive a much longer streak of losses. 23, that's a whack. Padavan Corners is kind of like Padavan Streets because they both use the Padavan mathematical sequence. Okay. Double zero, whack, that's 10 in a row and we're gonna increase our bet to 120. Cons, like with all negative progression systems, there's a small chance you're gonna lose a lot of money. Two, we hit. We win 420 and we are actually up 120 right now. And we're gonna reset to tier one, $10. No bets. 
22, that's a whack. Go to tier two, still $10. If you'd like me to review your roulette system, fill out this Google form. And if you'd like me to fast track the review of your system, join my Patreon. Patreon members get access to spreadsheets that I've written for gambling, a crap simulator spreadsheet and a roulette simulator spreadsheet I've written for gambling. And I think I'm gonna make my spin tracking spreadsheet available for Patreon members as well. You also get discounts at my Jack Ace that. merch store. And in general, it just helps support the channel. 35, another whack, minus 10. Go to step three, $10 still. No more bets. Thirty-one whack. Go to twenty. As far as alternate bets go, you can bet this system in a number of ways, but two corners is really optimal. And you can bet on any two corners so long as they don't overlap. 17 whack minus 20, and we're gonna bet 20 again, tier five. No more bets. 4 that's a hit we win 70 and we reset to step one ten dollars if you want to get cute you can bet four splits instead but you'll have to wait until you're at the twenty dollar level or higher since you can't bet two dollars and fifty cents on a split 16 whack minus 10 no more bet 13 whack minus 10. Just like Padavan Streets, this system is easy to scale. You can use any multiple of 10 to scale this system upwards. 23 whack minus 10, we're gonna increase to 20. Just take the Padavan number and multiply it by whatever you want your starting unit to be. So if you wanna start with a $100 bet, just start with two $50 corner bets. Five, that's a hit. 3.5 times 20 is $70, so we win 70 there. We're gonna reset to step one. 12, that's a hit. Back-to-back -back wins, we win 35. And stay on step one. No more bets. 1, that's another hit. Three hits in a row. We are actually up 250, trying to get another $100 no out of this. So we're gonna quit when we're up 375. 19, minus 10. Go to step two, $10 still. Question of the day, what's your favorite Weird Al the Yankovic song? Let me know in the comments below. My daughter has been obsessed with Weird Al for a few months now. 20, that's a miss. Go to tier three, that's a $10 bet. Let me know your favorite Weird Al song in the comments below. 6, that's a whack. Go to tier four, $20. If you like learning about roulette systems, go to my site, jackace.com. There I have a catalog of over 550 roulette systems. You can sort them by my rating, by the average bet size, by the buy-in, drill down to see spin-by-spin -spin results. And you can also check out a tool I've written called the Roulette Bet Analyzer. There you can enter your roulette bets. It'll show you how much you're gonna win for every result, what your expected loss per spin is, what your expected comp value per spin is, and what percent coverage of the wheel you have. 31, whack, minus 20. No more bets. 16, whack, minus 20, and we increase to 30. And I'm giving away a Blackjack Basic Strategy card to a lucky subscriber. If you want to win one, just comment, no I love bets. the Amish, in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll select a winner soon and send you a card in the mail. Zero, that's a whack. We're still up 150, and now we're gonna bet $40. No more bets. 18, whack, and we increased to $50. No more bets. 22, whack, increase our bet to 70. This is step nine. No more bets. 28, that's a whack. We lose 70 and we're actually down. Also check out my Jack Ace merch store, shop.jackace.com. There we have a ton of gambling merch, both roulette and craps and blackjack, video game merch, crypto merch, Rubik's Cube merch, and of course Jack Ace branded merch as well. For the trial, we're down $10. No more bets. 17 whack minus 90, we're down 100. 
and we're gonna increase our bet to 120. No more bet. Thirty-three, another whack. We're gonna go to step twelve, guys. One sixty. No more bet. Okay, that's a hit. We win five sixty. We're currently up three forty, so we need another ten dollars to reach our threshold. Uh, we're gonna reset to ten dollars and let's go again. Twelve. That's actually a hit. Back to back again. We went 35 and we are up 375. That's more of our desired threshold of 350. So that's how Pataban Corners did in the live trials. We were successful in hitting our target of 350. We actually won 375. But let's check out Pataban Corners in the Jack Ace Roulette Simulator. What up, Talkies? Jack Ace here, and we are testing Patavan Corners in the Jack Ace Roulette Simulator. We're going to try to increase our bankroll of 1500 by 25%, 50%, and 100%. So the increase of 25% is $375. We were able to achieve that goal 73.7, 73.3, and 70.4% of the time on single, double, and triple zero wheels. Trying to increase our bankroll by 50%, we were successful 58.6, 56.2, and 53.3% of the time on single, double, and triple zero wheels. And trying to double our bankroll, we were successful 40.6, 37.1, and 34.6% of the time on single, double, and triple zero. So kind of like we saw with Padavan Streets, there's a pretty big drop off going from 25% to 50 to 100. And again, here, there's not a big drop off going from single to double and triple zero. Here's what the stats looked like for Padavan Streets. Very, very similar numbers there, but there uh, we were starting with a bigger bankroll. I think that higher bankroll really isn't necessary. You're not going to see a lot of degradation. You're not going to see a lot of benefit. I think you're going to see the best improvement playing with the $1,500 bankroll, trying to achieve a smaller goal. If we take a look at the number map, we can see that 16 and 17 were pretty hot. They hit four times each. That's out of 39 spins. Other popular bets was the second dozen and the first column. Yeah, unfortunately, we were betting mostly in that first dozen, which was pretty cold, and we were still successful. So not a bad result, despite our numbers not coming up as often. We take a look at the radar map. A couple numbers we hit four times. A couple numbers we hit three, and the rest were either two, one, or zero. Not that interesting. We didn't have a big sample size of only 39 spins, so not going to see a lot of consistency there. So that's how Padavan Corners did in the simulator. What do you think of it so far? Here are my thoughts. Betting simplicity, it's a five. Not as simple as a single double street bet, but two corners is pretty easy too. Progression simplicity, I give it three out of five stars. After playing the sequence a few times, you'll get used to it. It's really not that bad. Chip uniformity, four out of five stars. For the most part, you're just betting a handful of chips. When you get into the higher tiers, the stacks can get pretty big though. Jackpot potential, three out of five stars. Like all negative progression systems, there isn't a huge chance of walking away big. Most of the wins are gonna be small compared to your bankroll. Scalability, I give it four out of five stars. Padavan Corners has a $2 minimum bet on an ETG and you can scale it up from there. Just multiply the Padavan index by an even number to scale it up. Comp value, half a star out of five. You're starting with a $10 bet. They're not gonna roll out the red carpet for you. So overall, I give this four out of five stars. I like this system much better than Padavan Streets. You have a big enough target where you don't have to worry about hitting a tiny, tiny percentage of the field. And what would you rate Padavan Streets? If you enjoyed this content, remember to like, subscribe. Never play triple zero roulette. And peace out, donkeys. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go.